guys, how's it going? Tears back again with episode number 5 of the Pac-Man Pack only Road to Glory series here on Xbox One. Now we're in this one, we're going to be having a quick look at filling out the rest of those manager tasks to try and get ourselves an extra gold pack. Because of course, we do have quite a few gold players now after that initial gold edition first episode pack opening. But we're still missing some players in some key positions, especially in goal. We have no even silver goalkeepers. So we really are hoping that the pack gods are shining down upon us when it comes to opening this uh, manager task pack. But as you can see, we're just filling out the rest of it. Uh, I think it was a contract fitness and chemistry style card that I needed to put onto a player. So Theo Walcott was the lucky recipient of, the, of all of those. He's one of, quote unquote, the best players we've got right now. Or, although I don't actually rate him that much on FIFA. In real life, he's decent. But on FIFA, pacing nothing else, really. Not really that good when it comes to delivering a pass or having popping away a shot especially on low chemistry which is of course what he's playing on at the minute but pop to marksman chemistry style on him maybe that'll improve his shot and uh, of course we do have to break the rules slightly to uh, buy something from the transfer market but uh, I did I bought something effectively that I'm not going to use so it won't affect the uh, the overall span of the series uh, it was just a, a goalkeeping coach I think diving plus 10 so maybe that will help the uh, the bronze goalkeepers but the uh, the pick of the goals from the game against uh, the computer here was that one from Peter Crouch. So obviously, I'm not going to show you too much from the uh, the two games that I had to play against the computer because it's boring enough to play, especially on semi-pro. So uh, it's definitely going to be too boring to uh, to watch for you guys. So uh, I'm just going to skip through the initial bit. So that was a the, the tournament game that you have to play. Play Sheffield Wednesday, who instantly we played in uh, career mode on Monday, but uh, absolutely hammered them uh, four 0 And then you have to challenge the team of the week as well. And it's a decent team of the week: Samir Nasri, uh, Arjen Robin, Gareth Bale, second in form, Ramsey, JT, etc. But I played it on semi-pro again, and uh, there weren't really any pick of the goals. This is just one of the two that I scored. The other one was just a, a bog-standard header. But uh, Grosko, it's nice, tidy finish into that bottom corner. But we were going to run out 2-0 winners in that one as well. So we'll take some coins from that, 800 or so as well. So well, that's a decent haul, uh, considering we're really low on coins right now. But again, pure domination, as you can see from the chances and the possession. So uh, we'll cut back to, uh, to the main hub here, and you'll see, notice that it says Store 1. That's the season ticket pack that we've got for it uh, being Monday, as I recorded this. Jump into the manager task. It says, well done, you completed all the manager tasks. As a reward, one gold pack is waiting for you in the My Pack section in the store. So I uh, I followed that. was like, okay, we'll go back to the store and open it. But it still says Store 1. I was a little bit bemused by this. I thought, well, maybe once I've gone into the store and opened up the uh, the My Packs bit, it'll appear and it will say two. It doesn't. It, I've only got the season ticket pack. So we've done all of those manager tasks, spent extra coins on uh, something from the trade, park, trade pile, which we didn't need to, and it's not given me my, uh, my gold pack. So I was praying, praying and praying that we were going to get something decent in this pack. We don't get a goalkeeper. We get Zay Roberto, Brazilian Cam, Ruben Castro and Leo Baptistao, or Le I'm going to start that again. Leo Baptistao, uh, decent, two decent strikers from La Liga, so uh, they'll work well together chemistry-wise. And Hetema as well, the Finnish centre mid from Kiev Verona, who does actually slot in quite nicely to uh, to the team that I've built here. As you can see, the uh, Serie A links as well as all the Italian links as well. So uh, hopefully this team can do us quite well. As you can see, the new signings have slotted in. We've got Leo Baptistao and. Uh, Ruben Castro up top. It's actually a nice little, uh, nice little trio of players there from La Liga with Chabi Prieto sat behind him, and then obviously Hatamo. You can see there's got some decent stats, but only 75 overall. But hopefully he can do a job for us in the midfield. So we're going to jump into the first game with this new team, quote unquote new team. There's still a lot of players that we uh, we had before in it, but it's got the three new signings, and it's another not a starter pack team, but it's a guy that I felt confident that we could get a decent result out of. It's not the best of teams, obviously not very good chemistry, and he was weak in the main positions in defence and in goal. But we're able to go to a fantastic start Pereira's going to do a cheeky step over cut inside and on his left foot I was actually playing Pereira at right back we have no right backs whatsoever regardless of whether it's gold, silver or bronze so I'm playing Pereira there he used to be a left back of course now moved up to a left mid for Inter but he does have good defensive stats so I'm playing him at right back to, uh, to keep up with the Serie A links etc but Ruben Castro is going to pick us up a second in the 20th minute and that unfortunately was going to bring the rage quit as you'll be able to see in just a second so we only get the chance to get 200 coins from that game which was really disappointing because uh, I, we really need the extra coins to be completely honest but uh, never mind you have you have to kind of take those with uh, with a pinch of salt and we'll have to just kick on try and do our best in the next game which is a very very nice hybrid between uh, Serie A La Liga and you can see the four Brazilian players up there up top as well it's actually a very very strong side as well as being a, a decent uh, way of putting a team together chemistry wise so I wasn't looking forward to going up against this team and uh, this first clip is basically going to show exactly what happened for the rest of the game I need a goalkeeper. 
this bronze goalkeeper, or all of them, I've got four, I've got four bronze goalkeepers, none of them are any good whatsoever. Although, as you'll be able to see from this clip, even having a goalkeeper sometimes, a gold goalkeeper sometimes, doesn't really uh, stop you from keeping a clean sheet. But literally, the rest of this game was just him having pot shots from long range, and my goalkeeper letting them in, to be completely honest. This one is a, a nice strike from Jadson. But you have to think, in situations like this, yes, they're very good strikes in their own right, but you have to take into consideration that a top level or even just a basic gold goalkeeper would have better positioning than this particular bronze goalie we've got right now. And in that case, you know, he might have pulled off some better saves. That's really mesmerising, actually, all those four players doing that arm wavy thing. But, uh, yeah, I was just so disappointed because we were playing good football in this game. I just didn't have the quality to put them away against the, their defence, basically. The really, really strong back four. And uh, with... Uh, Daniele De Rossi and Xabi Alonso holding it was really really hard to get through as well and little things like that like I had a clear opportunity there but the computer AI just ran in front of me bounced off uh, bounced off his heels went back to him and of course he ran up the other end and put the ball into the back of the net that's what I'm having to deal with right now in this series and it's really really frustrating me to be completely honest and uh, we just need a goalkeeper so 6-1 uh, defeat you're going to have to let me know in the comments am I allowed to bring across and now, obviously we brought across 50,000 coins from my main account to jump to gold. Am I allowed to bring across another 10,000 and open two 5k packs to look for a goalkeeper? Because otherwise the series is going to be completely, completely ruined by the fact that I'm just going to lose games by huge margins every single time until we get a decent goalkeeper. Uh, so I'm really torn at the minute. We've only got 3,000 coins sat in the bank. I could sell a couple of the best players like Theo and... Uh, and who's it? And Jackson Martinez, etc. To, to try and raise some extra cash, or we can just bring across 10k coins. It's up to you. Please do let me know. I don't want to ruin it by bringing across too many coins, but at the same time, it will get ruined on the other hand of us not having enough good players because um, we're just going to come up against fantastic gold sides, whether it's single player matches or uh, or in the league. And uh, that is that six one scoreline is going to be uh, more often than not if we can't find ourselves a decent goalkeeper but uh, let's go bring this one to a close then guys so I do apologise that again it's not the best of episodes but we're still finding our feet with this gold edition start in the Pac-Man series so feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind of course let me know down below in the comments what I should do with it with regards to uh, some extra packs etc and uh, if you missed the previous episode there will be a link over the pink ghost on your screen to do so and if you aren't subscribed then there will be a link over the uh, this Pac-Man on your screen and a link in the description to, uh, to subscribe to the channel and also feel free to follow me on Twitter as well at Tisnoy Gaming. There will be a link to that in the description below as well. But that's going to bring this one to a close, guys. I'm going to wrap it up because I've been waffling for ages. And uh, yeah, I will see you tomorrow with some more career mode.